Hi, thanks for joining me. It's Michelle Sturgeon from Come Stamp With Me, your Stampin' Up! demonstrator from Ontario, Canada. And today we're going to be uh, making a card using the stamp set Butterfly Wishes. And the card we're going to be making today looks like this. So let's go ahead and stamp it out. Sorry about my hand. All right. So I've got my Stamparatus. I'm going to be using Poppy Parade Marker, Soft Suede Marker, Old Olive Marker, and I'm also going to be using Pumpkin Pie on the Butterfly. So Pumpkin Pie on the Butterfly. So let's go ahead and just do this flower and branch. Um, so I use the Poppy Parade on flower. Poppy Parade is one of those interesting colors. Sometimes I really like it and sometimes I don't. I happen to really like it on this particular flower. Okay. And the branch is going to be Soft suede. And the leaves are going to be old olive. And uh, the more you play with this stamp, this I want to be brown. This dot is part of the branch. The more you play with this, the more you get to figure out what's a leaf. What's a flower? What's a branch? There we go. There. So I'm going to put that on my big shot and cut that out with my stitch circle die and it'll look like that. Then what I want to do with this, this goes this way. What I want to do, I'm going to just lower this a little bit so you can see. Um, I'm going to take some champagne mist. Uh, put a little bit on my block here. Take my paintbrush, a little bit of spritz, lightly spritz that. should be wet enough and then I'm just going to top that there I want a little bit more I wanted a little bit wetter perfect so that just gives it a little bit of uh, shine. I love this stuff. All right, we're gonna set that aside to dry a little bit. The next thing I need to do is cut out, I have to stamp my butterfly first before I cut it out. Put my paper there, put this here. And get the butterfly. All right, so the thing that I noticed about this stamp set with all the detail on it, the distinctive stamp, you want to lightly ink up your image. If you put too much ink on it, it's not gonna, you're not gonna see all of, hey, my paper snips. They were stuck to the bottom of my stamparatus. Awesome, I was looking for those. There. and then lightly press down and then you can see all the detail I don't know if you can on the camera but in real life there's a lot of detail on there then I want to take my pumpkin pie marker and just go around the edges and there 
There we go. Let's see, and I think it looks perfect just like that. But my husband insisted it would look better if there was brown for the body and brown around the around the wings. He even went on the internet and found me pictures and said, see, look. So I took his advice and I added just a little bit of brown, soft suede. On the edges of his wings. And there, so there's a little bit more detail. And I have to admit, I think he's right. It does look better with the brown. Of course, it's your butterfly. You can do what you want when you're coloring it. Um, and now we get to cut him out. And I already have one done. There we go. So we're going to use that in a little minute. Close this. If I leave my ink pads open, it will be a disaster. All right, I need this stuff now. So I'm going to take my... My main card piece, my main card panel, and open up that Poppy Parade ink and take the flower from that set and some of these flowers I want them to be dark and some I want to be light. So I'm stamp some of them are getting stamped off. So we have a bit of a varying degree of shades. All right. Now I'm gonna glue this together using my snail adhesive. base. Oh yeah, here's a good tip. Always make sure that your card is opening the right way before you glue things down. I've had uh, people glue their card down, put their whole card together very excited and then found out they put it on upside down. All right, and then your green layer is going to go about there. Make sure that's straight. All right, and now this should be dry enough that I can, I'm actually going to use some liquid glue to glue that down so it doesn't get smushed. My Cali cat's waiting for me to finish because she really wants to go outside. I'll just have to wait a minute. Okay, put that about here. Oh, I really like it with that sparkle. And, Butterfly needs to be popped up. Stampin' Dimensionals right here. Just a minute, Cali Cat. She's called Cali Cat because she's a calico. That's how creative we are in my house. All right, and we're going to put this guy right about there. And then adhesive on my greeting. It was a perfect day because of you. My hands, my hands are all sparkly from that stuff, from that uh, champagne mist. There we go. And that is the finished card. I'm trying my hardest to get the lighting right. It's really difficult. Oopsies. Okay, so that is that. So thanks a lot for watching the video. Um, I still have a few glitches that I have to work out, but um, I'm, I'm trying to, to do a better job there. Um, so uh, thanks a lot for watching. If you like the video, please hit the like button. Uh, leave a comment. I love to read the comments. Um, hit subscribe. That helps my channel grow. Share the videos. 
And uh, thanks a lot for watching. And if uh, there's anything that you want to order, you can go on to my online store and order anytime. And everything will get shipped to you anywhere in Canada. Thanks so much for watching.